if uh, um, I can't think of the damn words. I'll come back. That to one it. thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, timing, but also I was thinking of the uh, synchronize, synchronization. Yeah. That, Jesus. Um, and when you think about it, that's kind of dangerous to have that guy hang on there and then drop. You know, I've seen people die that way. Um, primarily, it was sailors that were trying to hang on to a, a, a navy blimp, and it started going up. And a couple guys dropped, let go real fast, smart. And one guy held on a little too long. And then he was like up there, and he's like, "Oh crap!" And then he died. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Good. What else? Votes for other ones. <clears throat> the crocodile one was pretty funny. Yeah, you got a kick out of that one. one. You like the crocodile one? <laughs> okay. I also like the kiss one. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you brought up the kiss one. That was good. Cool. I like the how they showed like all the cameras like that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like... That's my. That's probably my favorite next to David Lynch's. Although, I might even prefer it to Lynch's. Although, Lynch's, I think, by far, accomplishment-wise, is just stunning the, how much he pulled off with... Didn't he cheat? No, Lynch oh, didn't no. cheat. You oh, can yeah. see it he behind the, the scenes. Different sequences. Uh, yeah. They show him it all. He did it in real time. In fact, some of the other filmmakers cheated. Like Michael Haneke, the guy who did Funny Games, he had clips of the news. Yeah, that was right? cheating. And, and you're like... That's kind of cheating, you know. He just filmed. He filmed the t TV screen that he had already edited all the pieces together. Okay, and then uh, uh, the guy who did the, 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 the there was the num this it was in Munich and the sequence of numbers and then the, there was like a guy a naked guy in profile, Peter Greenaway with the, this ring of bell. He would he would stop and he stopped and started the camera. So that's not necessarily cheating, but it was basically how to put sort of edits within this uh, project. So, uh, but but uh, what do you guys think of David Lynch's? That was my favorite. Again, compared to what the other people, what do you guys think of Spike Lee's? It's like, come on, you, you, you're gonna do this, you're gonna bother with this project, and then you give us a whole movie of your baby talking, which doesn't even talk. Um, but like, come on, put some effort into it, guy. Uh, and and I guess that's kind of the point. Um, so we got the we've got the kiss spinning. We've got David Lynch's. We've got the helicopter. It's the one at the beginning in the park, panning down and in that those two guys dueling. Good, other. like one well, of the very first oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. The, so yeah, with the with this with sort of. Uh, the series of, of art artistic moments essentially. Yeah. Um, with which they say the sign says septiem, which is the seventh art, the septiem art. The, a a film critic referred to cinema when it, early on as the seventh art, meaning it took all of the arts and put it together. Now, in the interest of time, which we're already out of. This is the fact. Anyone guess what the favorites that you mentioned have in common? They were black and white. <laughs> yeah. Story. Story. They had. They told a story, and that is the difference. One of the, my least favorites is the guy leaving the prison. Yeah. If they didn't tell us. We wouldn't even have any of you guy walking down the street, and I'm like, this is not cinema, you know. This is not, it, you know. Again, when the when we talked about spectacle versus story, and this has been the division since the beginning. When cinema was first invented, it was enough just to see movement captured on the screen. It blew people away. People were like, holy crap, and they went back and back and saw several things for about three or four years, and then they were bored. And they said, eh. The Lumiere brothers themselves, like Gus Lumiere said, it's an invention without a future. They didn't, they didn't see that, they, that people would start telling stories with this invention. And it was actually another Frenchman, Georges Manlier, who was a magician, who took it and started telling stories. Um, 
one of the, uh, he was actually the father of science fiction as well. He, one of the most famous early films is called The Trip to the Moon. And you've probably seen so clips of the rocket hits the, the rocket the hits eye. the moon in the eye. That's so, uh, and, and he tried to buy a camera from the William Air brothers, and they and they told him, don't bother, it doesn't have a future. And he went and got his own. But spectacle was something new, something big, something grand, and people will go see it. 3D Avatar relies on spectacle, and what do people complain about? The stories are weak. Well, the spectacle, if the spectacle is new and different enough and exciting enough, that's all you need. After that, people get bored. And people get really bored really fast, especially nowadays. Everyone has ADD. Mm -hmm. And you, it, we've seen it, right? So we have the Matrix, the original Matrix. And this freeze frame action shot, and then the camera goes around it. And that was really cool and exciting for about... Uh, Five minutes. Yeah, three movies, and then by the by the fourth time you saw that, even when they were making fun of it, it was just dumb. And you're like, move on. Well, that's what happens with spectacle. We get bored. What we don't get bored with story. We're humans. We like stories. And even though there's been a lot of writing about this in theory, there are actually supposedly only, I believe it's eight stories. Everything is a recombination of the same eight stories. Stories or concepts? It's it's just the way you put the pieces together. Again, how many notes are there, musicians? Seven. Seven, right? What can you do with seven notes? A lot. Yeah. So, so the story, the ones you guys pick out, the ones that tend to be the favorites, the ones that are my favorites, tell the story. I love the kissing. It's like the st whole story of cinema yeah. in one. 50 second shot. It says a lot. It has a lot going on, and you see, and it's revealed very, very nicely. You, 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 you see kissing, and just before you get bored, well, it's kind of interesting that they're spinning and moving simultaneously. So it's got a little spectacle in this camera move, right? And then just before you, get, you get bored and say, okay, it's a couple kissing, you see the first cameraman, and then you see the next one, and you see the director, this old timey director, and then you start to put the pieces together. The audience will do most of the work for you. But you got to throw them a bone. And, and some of the other stuff, where it's, they have the one couple kissing, but it's, it's, it's kind of like, okay, okay, what else you got? And there's not. And there's like the stuff where the kid's looking over the fence, and there's more kids and more kids, but then it's kind of like, that's it? Where's the punchline? So, real fast. Chris, hold on to that. Real fast. Your first assignment. Do... In four weeks, it's not your first assignment, it's your first film project. Four weeks from today, so not next week. Next week we will be going, we will, I will, we're, we're going to spend the class, we're going to bring the camera in, we're going to make a movie together. We're going to show, push all the right buttons, we're going to take it down to the editing lab, we're going to put it into Final Cut Pro, and we're going to burn a DVD and we're going to come up and watch it. We're going to do that at least once, if not twice. So you guys know. Then the, then the next week you're going to be making your project, and then the week after that it's due. So, you got it? So, all of you are going to make a one minute film. Exactly one minute long. If it's a second longer, you'll lose points. If it's a second shorter, you'll lose points. Restrictions, limitations, embrace them. <coughs> I don't want any edits. No editing. So, one minute shot, no editing. Now, they, they were able to stop and start the camera. So, unfortunately with these cameras, if you press the stop and then hit record again, it makes separate clips. So you can't do that. I will, however, say if if you want to do that, you can do that, but you, you need to shoot them in sequence. And then just take those clips and put them in order as if you had stopped and started the camera. Okay? You need to start thinking about it now because 
all of the goodness of this business comes from planning. Yes, you can grab a camera, you can shoot your baby and say, say something, say something, say something. And if it's exactly a minute along, you will have satisfied the requirements for this class. I'm encouraging you to do something fantastic. Do a David, give us a David Lynch. It doesn't have to be that good. But go all the way. Make, some, make a great one minute film. Spend some time, spend some thought energy thinking what kind of movie would lend itself to a good one minute, one shot <coughs> project that will blow your classmates away and me. So that's where the important, that's where the real work comes in. Creative problem solving. We're going to do, deal with the tools next week. You're going to get your hands on the camera and the editing. We're going to go through it all. That's, that's one part, knowing the, how the tools work. But creative problem solving is where it's really at. So David Lynch, very creative. He wasn't allowed to edit, or he, it was difficult to edit. So what did he do? He set up four different locations within one location and moved the camera and then had a couple, a series of, of diversions like smoke and burning, a, burning a, a little piece of paper to reveal sets that were hidden beneath. And he also did a simple thing like just took uh, a piece of black phone card or show card and covered the lens and moved it so you don't see the, the move reveal he's in a different location, had it all set up and choreographed. And amazing. So. Spend some energy, spend some thought. Don't just do the minimum requirement. Yes, it will count. I'm encouraging you though to start thinking now about what would be really cool given these limitations. Are they gonna be silent films? Uh, you can do, uh, you can, no, you don't have to, they don't have to be silent. Okay. They, that's, that's, that's a different class. The audio, when you take the audio class with me, we'll, we'll start messing around with that. I don't care if you do the if you use the camera the audio on the camera, uh, it's going to be there anyway. It's usually horrible, so I would suggest thinking about trashing that audio and putting music on instead. And I'll show you how to do that next week. So I want you guys to think about it. I want you guys to spend some real effort. I like to go to cafes and do this stuff. That's where I can concentrate and think about what it's going to be about. But spend that put some effort to it. Next week we'll talk about. Uh, we're going to come back to a lot of this, but, uh, and, and, and we're also going to talk about and, and do some hands-on and actually film something. So you, if, for those of you freaking out, I don't know what to do. Don't worry. We'll cover it all. Okay? Nice to meet you guys. I will see you next week. Uh, bring those with you next week. We didn't get a chance to talk about it. That's your homework.